and it works when it wants to work, you know the deal. The Montana actually elected to stay on Teesside here. I will be there very shortly. No worries, mate. Going for a bit of boost up over mid here, with three players sent a main, four players, I'm sorry, and perhaps looking to take a little bit of highway control and then an A push. I think that's what we're about to see. I really hope that Montana can win this first round. Now. They put the next couple of rounds on the board, give them a little bit of confidence after that spanking they received. But uh, Cobble opened the fragment on Zeus. Tebo does trade out though and gets a second on quad. And this is a great start for Montana. Blaster pushing in from truck. Cops a bullet to the face. But uh, he does manage to land one on Daisy. Evo Meister wow. doing a great job on boost there. Taking down two. That was some great, wow. great control. And, oh, uh, he might have have my third here. Evo Meister going massive there. Sorry, Kevin, coming late into that round. I'm shocked. That was that was Montana a great putting take. Bomb down. And just yeah, wow, just <laughs> a different team again. I think we, we we could see a repeat game of of last night, Caps. I really hope so. I hope that um, they do bring it back, and it looks like they've shaken off the first map. I think they knew that they weren't going to win it, and now they're back with a vengeance. With the first round on the board. But uh, CTs are going to choose to play this aggressive mid position. Getting two players up, and I think they might actually try and boost it here. Evermeister is waiting around the corner though, and uh, Bomb is in an open position. If this boost does work, Blaster's actually up there, but he hasn't peeked over. He's just got the position. Uh, I think at this waiting. point, Blaster's just, he's just waiting for sound now to hear where these guys are going to run off to, which is good patience to have because if he peeks over and dies, he puts his team at a disadvantage, but he does go over the boost now. Think of that in main. Not hearing anything, and that's the call. Yeah, he's got to have the information. His team needed. There's Bob. a lot of info. Bob does take down Daisy there in mid and Shib. Trades onto Opaque, a nice headshot from Zeus there onto Cobb as he drops out of vents. CT's rushing into B site now, but Bomb planted and Montana are locking down this site very, very well. Last CT alive is Blaster, the player who was boosted up, and I think he's going to run back and try and hold onto his armor. He's got 65. So he doesn't need a rebuy. But uh, he's out exposed in mid. He needs to get back to a site now if he wants to live. And uh, another nice round there from Montana. Even with the CTs yeah. boosting over, they somehow were able to avoid that. Oh, Eva. Just pushing out with that P90. But Montana, yeah. I mean, a, a different team to see. It's, it's, it's good and it's refreshing. You know, a team that can come back from that sort of a stomping... And, you know, still go, well, look, guys, we can still compete with you. That was just not our map. Yeah, that's right. So, he's brought up on SMGs here. A couple of AKs to the place of this guy. And CT's going for a five-man push to B main. They do cop a pop flash to the face, though. Shiv opens up the fragging on Luigi, but he gets traded out. A nice nade coming in from Daisy. From Tebow, sorry. And Daisy just dancing around that Z connector there out opaque and halo will be left on his own back in t-spawn 24 hp only the usp i think he's gonna look for an exit here and hold on but he cops a pop flash and daisy checking every corner played that perfectly <laughs> covering all bases making sure it was clear but also you know great for montana not to actually concede a weapon there so not giving yeah. them any sort of not giving fire up any sort of chance to even, you know, somewhat build an economy with a, a slightly stronger weapon than a pistol. Yeah, definitely. I'm um, not giving those... Your enemy weapons uh, really plays a huge part. You can get eco so easily if you hand over a weapon. And you're forced to rebuy as well, which is never a good thing. Yeah. But nevertheless, fire up after we bought up now. This is the first gun round. Montana with the first three on the board. Now, uh, Halo, looking for that player going to peek over. It will be Evo Meister. He does take him out on highway though, and he goes for a second in vent. Blaster, oh, just spraying down, but neither neither player able to do that much damage. Evo is down to 37. 
Alright, Artis still with the mount advantage at the moment. Even Meister still peeking. Looks like he wants more. And the Molly going down actually lands. And Blaster, he's just out of range of the Molly. He will take no damage from that. Wow, he's lucky there. That was very, very had lucky. That been, had that been thrown correctly in the right spot, it would have actually covered the entire event. So, bit of a foul Molly. I, to be honest, I think... This could be a fall for them with the fact that they think the player invent is slushed out, but as I say that though, they are pushing on to B with Evo Master in mid, so he'd likely come through vent. Oh wow, Blaster, he will get looking the wrong way, and he was very, very lucky to survive that. He will drop down out of vent though and take down Evo in mid, and it is a 4v3 right now. Bomb does go down on B, planted backside. And that's that's a really good platform. Not a lot of people use, you know. It's it's yeah. very exposed, and you don't expose yourself from heaven, which is very nice. Yeah, definitely. And that spot's very powerful. I mean, you know, put a player in vent, put a player in main, and have a guy just float on site. Mm. It's all you really need to to protect that bomb, even from a three man push. You know, have the fourth guy just float around, and even if you got five up, it's even better because your your fifth could actually push through the Z connector for a pretty quick flank. Doesn't look like Fire Up want to go for this though. They are hanging around T-Spawn, setting up crossfires and holding on to their weapons. Blaster though has spotted a couple and I think he might pick up Pebo here. Pebo actually gets him but Luigi trades out. That's that's not a bad thing. Again, just that discipline showed by Fire Up there, I mean, not forcing in to, to actually get a kill or, you know, they realise they're at a disadvantage. The bomb was down for quite a while before they actually got close to sight. So they made the call to say, and elected the save, which which is good. I mean, any really you can make work with two weapons. The pistols do a bit of damage, or even the M4s do a little bit of damage. It just you know it gives the pistols a lot better chance. So CT's on an eco somewhat. Luigi and Cobb are able to hold on to their weapons from last round. But Montana fully bought up and with the momentum that they need right now. First four rounds on the board. A great start, and Evo actually. Tagging Luigi there in the vents. We'll go for a second peek. Luigi should have fallen back there. But uh, he sacrifices himself for the intel. He's going to be calling them a few in mid. CTs are pushing into A main right now. Grabbing that information. And Blaster, if he's quick enough here, he can catch them off guard. Oh, Kov just finding Evo Meister as he pushes through smoke. But the T's have made their way into checkers. Kov is behind them though. He will pick up one and a second. Kov doing a great job here. Oh, running out of ammo on third. Yeah, those 20 bullets just... I know. That's that's why I use the M4, boys. 30 bullets, better than 20. <laughs> and Blaster comes in firing, but he will be executed summarily by Shib. Montana, they, this is did, a... they did lose a couple of players there, but their economy is strong enough to rebuy, which is nice. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is a stark contrast to the very last map we just saw. You'd swear this is the first map from Fire Up. Definitely, yeah. It's it's very, very different to what we saw in Inferno. So again, you know, catching on the point you made, Cap, it's a strong map pool. It just goes to show. Yeah, Montana, obviously a little bit more experienced, maybe, on, on Cache. I, I don't know, but um, they are definitely playing it better. Yeah. You, you can actually see that, that Montana have actually practiced this map. They've got a lot of direction. They they understand the timings of the map and everything as well, which is nice to see. Oh, Blaster again on highway. Even Meister's has picked him from there before. And they, he was ready for him, but uh, Blaster comes out with a little less HP from that engagement. Down to 41, Evo on 79. So a little bit of intel there. Blaster will actually fall back towards A. Off was the only player there on A with the M4. And it looks like the T's do want to push this site. Three players in A main. Make that four. Bomb in Squeaky. Blaster playing forklift and Kov playing that bricks position near Squeaky. Halo has actually rotated over though. This is a very nice rotate from Fire Up. Halo will spray down TiVo through the smoke as he opens Squeaky. And uh, I don't think the T's are going to get this get into site. Meister does find Halo, but opaque straight through the smoke onto Evo. And now it's just Zeus in a 1v3 trap behind Quad. Quad. Kov will find his head. And that will be the first round for Fire Up on the board. A great rotate there. 
just shows you goes to show how crucial your early picks are in a map. I mean, fire up actually not being picked there, not getting over peaky and realizing the mistakes very early on, and picking up the first round. Yeah, Cobb just rotating back at the right time, and I think he actually early called that. But uh, the T's, they're having none of it. They're straight out mid, but Halo waiting behind that smoke wall. We'll find Tebo, first player to go down. They're spraying wildly into the smoke, but um, he does go down, unfortunately. Buster from Sandbags finding Evo Meister, and the T's kind of cracking mid at the moment. And that is the bomb, actually, in the cutout position. Zeus is forced out by the molly. He'll go down and fire up. Oh, that is never a position. Mid -mid and <laughs> they just destroyed them. <laughs> that is never a position you want to be left in in that mid cutout. Oh shit! Let's pick up Cobb. Yeah, but he's he's in a one v three, and he's down to thirty one. And the CTs have control of the bomb, and he's surrounded. I mean, everything adding up to his certain death, I believe. But we'll see. I've been surprised before. So Shib is going to work his way back around to warehouse. And I think he's going to try and hold on to the AK here. Does take down Luigi. That's the AWP down. Hot flashes out mid. Lucky not to run into that nade. Down to 18 now. But uh, two CTs just waiting. Just waiting for him. They can hear him. <laughs> Buster just coming out from sandbags. And he had a teammate at C to help him. So second round yeah. for Fire Up. Yeah, it's, you know, this adaption from Fire Up, they've, they realized where they were, you know, Montana were pushing in, where they were making the breaks and actually getting around and dropping players comfortably. And they've just plugged the hole. And Montana's just not been able to adapt to that sort of, you know, to Fire Up's adaption. Adaptation. Oh, nice pre nade coming in, but Zeus will actually find the head of Luigi there. The T's, though, have taken a lot of damage, and Halo's already in CT, spraying them down as they try to cross picky up, too. But, uh, Shib will take him down. Opaque still on site, and the CT's with a quick rotate to finish off the remaining terrorists. Fire up with their third round now, and looking to find their footing against a, uh, Montana side that... That looked like... They looked very strong at the start, but, um, losing those two rounds, I don't know. I mean, it's still stark contrast to the first game, you know, 16, was it 16-4 at the end? 16-2. Yeah. 16-2, oh, apologies. Two rounds. <laughs> two rounds, yeah. And I mean, Montana putting up a good fight now. We saw this last night, though, as well, with Redux. Redux, you yeah. know, 16-1 on Inferno, and then making a massive comeback to almost to overtime, but losing the last. But fire up, I think their experience will, you know, will enable them to take this. But the fact that they can adapt so easily... To scenarios that are thrown at them. Montana are full board after that eco. Uh, interestingly, Evo Master not flying up there. Zeus will take down Blaster, and Blaster has died on highway um, several times now. Halo is actually in the cutout position, so that's a nice adjustment to see. Uh, at the moment, it is a 3v3. T side, their hit points uh, not looking good. Zeus down to 25, Tivo on 28. CTs, full HP. Decide switching up their plate here and deciding to go B instead. Now they're just playing this very slowly, waiting for their third teammate to come in. And it looks like the flashes will go into sight now, but look at this. Luigi's already rotating over and his teammate from A pushing as well. Opaque is doing a great job on this B-bomb site, just delaying them enough, and I think they're about to get sorted here. Opaque just spraying them down as they line up for him. And a uh, nice little 3k there on the B-site. Yeah, again, Fire just clawing this back now. You know, and this is this is the kind of CS we want to see, is this sort of, you know, but I'd like to see this go further into sort of a tip attack game. You know, one team getting around the next, and... We, we are seeing very close rounds, but Montana just not being able to finish up. Yeah, I think um, Fire Up's rotates are really on point. They, they've successfully rotated very, very quickly and made the right call a couple of times. Uh, with that A push and then the B push, but... Um, <laughs> DZ just madly pre-firing around <laughs> on highway there. But uh, his team is down. The, they did get the plant though, which is nice. But, um, yeah, CT's yeah, coming good. out on top. 
good for their economy now. I mean, they weren't really heavily invested into that round either. I mean, most players having above $2,800. So, now look at it, 7k. So, that, that's very, very healthy for them. That, you know, that guarantees in the next two rounds at least for a buy. Yeah, definitely. Uh, getting the bomb down is so essential, you know. It's, uh, it's, it's really crucial for the T side. It's much better than fragging. Although, getting frags and the bomb... Very, very good. <laughs> uh, Zeus will actually pick up Luigi there, the first frag off the round. I'm not sure where that was from. I'm missing mid, possibly? Or maybe on B. Keep in mind this is a CT sided map, so Montana theoretically have enough rounds now to have a strong CT side. So any, th any extra rounds from now will just be nice and okay for them, really. Yeah. So, you know, you only, on this map, although this map is somewhat even, I wouldn't say, you know, I'd call it maybe a 40% a forty Seaside 40-60 chance. Split, yeah, 40-60 yeah, split, roughly. But, you know, five rounds is definitely good. But as we say that, DZ comes around fast. Onto Blaster's head, Mons Zeus onto Halo. Yeah, that was a nice pick in mid. Opaque, though, in this backside position, he was a rock last time. He will go down to Evo Meister, and T's do have control of the bomb site. Last CT alive, Cobb. He was actually getting sprayed wow. down through smoke at quad on A, and the T had no idea how much damage he'd done to him. Down to fourteen. <laughs> you know, it's funny to think the very the round before this one, I did say I'd like to see a tip attack game, and well, you I think got that's it, what we're gonna get. <laughs> I got what I wanted. Actually, yes. Actually, if you look at the scoreboard, it's kind of funny. There have been five T, five CT, and now it's gonna be a T. Yeah. Did we see a CT next? I don't know. You've got yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> one for one for one for one, mate. That's you know. That would be something. <laughs> remember what I remember what I said to PK my, with my, my my percentage. Oh, yeah. We're gonna have, we need we need a, I think we need to put some more science behind that percentage, though. Mate. No, we're not putting science behind that, mate. <laughs> I will not let you nerd out with a calendar. Uh, calendar with a calculator. <laughs> Cobb does pick up Tivo though. Go. Oh, <laughs> getting kneecap there by the AK. So, Montana, 6-5 to five with the lead on T-side. And after the first map, I don't think anyone would have expected this. But CTs are full bought up again. But look at their money. If they lose this round, uh, they are going to be on an eco. Um, as opposed to T-side, uh, where they will be on the buy again. Yeah. And that, you know, that bomb, that bomb plant in the last round and the, and the round, you know, prior to this one... It, it was, it's, you know, helped their economy greatly. So, ship and Halo down. It is a 4v4. One thing I'd like to point out, just for their quick caps, is looking at Luigi, he's 3 for 7. You know, yeah, he was, no, he was crucial. He was crucial in the last map. As I say that, he does pick up one, but his fragging ability in the last map, just to pick off people in mid, you know, Nonchalant, it doesn't matter who peaked him, he, he was guaranteed to get the kill where. And this is, you know, he's a little lackluster at this point. He's making it work towards B though. Yeah, he's currently engaged in a uh, bit of an AWP battle there with Evo Meister. He unscoped as Evo peaked and missed his shot, so... Two AWPs going at it at the moment. Opaque does take down Zeus. Makes it a 4v2. This round's looking good for fire up, so I believe it will be tit for tat at the moment. Yes! <laughs> 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 the predictions, they're coming true. <laughs> 20 seconds remaining though, and I don't know if the best choice right now would be to go to the, go for this. They should probably save. If they do save, they're going to be able to drop. But, uh, yeah, definitely. I think they are going to go for it, and I don't know if they realise the time they have left. 7 seconds, and Blaster up on that boost position just mows them down as they run into sight. Actually, seen if, um... Funny uh, gif on Reddit this morning on this same map. Oh really? Pl player was up on the boost. T's jumped into uh, plant the bomb, and the guy called my he called it the my Assassin Creed moment, and actually jumped off the boost up top onto the player's back and knifed him in the back Lovely. as he got bombed down. <laughs> that just last dropping down like that just made me think of that. T side fully bought up again after that round loss.
And I uh, know this is not the first map with TV. This is the second map. The first map was taken by Fire Up in a 16-2. Yes, thanks, Limits. <laughs> Just that I've that in chat. But, um, you know, Montana's definitely put that map behind them. And we've seen there's some really, really nice plays. Double orb setup coming from Fire Up. This is different. Somewhat effective at the moment. They're all wow. able to rotate through to CT and pick up a kill. And oh, Tivo does get that headshot, but he's all alone now. Gets another kill and adjusts his spray. That was a really nice spray control. Unfortunately, though, the CT just ducking around the corner. I don't know if he's aware there's an orb there. I was trying oh, to free fire the corner, but blaster. He did. Uh, Halo, sorry. <laughs> I do like the fact that he actually knew the Orpal was there, but trying to bait the shot out, but Halo just that trigger discipline, waiting for that full body peek and the full commitment from Tivo there and actually picking him up. Yeah, very nice to see. Play so Montana now on an AK, and the tit for tat has been broken. CT's actually stringing two rounds together, so. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> you never know, mate. Montana might win the next two. <laughs> Not like that though, Luigi is finally hitting his shots. Take down Daisy, picking A main, and Evo Meister now trying to bait out the shot. And he does actually get Luigi to shoot, but he will find position here as Luigi is forced back into sight. But uh, the keys with the man down already, no armor. Make that two men down, Cobb. Taking down Evo in A main. But he is open as Tivo pushes in, but Cobb again with a nice headshot and a third there. He's really making it look easy with the M4. Those eco frags. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> <laughs> hey, nonetheless, a frag's a frag. At a the frag's end of the a day, frag. Really. A frag's a frag. But you know, you know how those eco frags go. It's so easy to get them, and it's so it's so nice when you get them. <laughs> that is true. I mean, hence, hence the thing the is delicious. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is very yummy. I, I love getting fed on an eco. It's it's good. Especially the fact that when you're playing in a match, you know, your friends are reminiscing, you're like, remember that game where I just went complete ham in that one round? Yeah. And no one remembers whether it was an eco or, a, you know, or a full buy, and just, it just makes you sound good. That's it, that's it, mate. Put it in, put it in a frag clip. Yeah, just put it in a, in a highlight clip. No one needs to know they were eco. That's just, right. you know, Photoshop, Photoshop AKs there, you'll be fine. <laughs> so, both sides fully bought up in the last round of the first half here. Montana, surprisingly, with a really nice comeback off that first map. Good to see how they go on CT and fire up's response to their CT hold. But Evo Meister has take down Halo in mid. That is a great start. Taking out one of those orps. Luigi is the other orp and he is going down in checkers. Shib able to pick him off as well. But T's in great position now to win this win this round and make it eight seven half. <laughs> Tivo. Finding Blaster as well, and the t CTs are dropping wow. like flies right now. 2v5. Oh my god, 1v5. what's going on here? I don't think the T's have actually Wait. received a point of damage. <laughs> it's hit for tat, it's still on the card. Oh, no, okay. breaks the drought though. He does take down Daisy, looking for a second, but... Oh, just runs out of ammo on TiVo. We'll finish him off there. A nice half from both teams. Fire up 8, Montana 7. Going into the second half of the second map. Yeah, you know, <laughs> this is more of a game we want to see. It's an 8 7 half. Montana doing work on the T side. So, yeah, I mean, if they can get this first pistol, we could see a very different game and more than likely see a third map. Interestingly enough, though, far up, they have been fragging evenly apart from Luigi. We saw that last map. All of their players were very, very close together. But it seems like Luigi stopped off a little bit. I'd like to see him pick up his game on this CT side and uh, start making a bit of an impact in the game. Um, Zeus jumping into his teammate there on B as he's trying to evade, but... Yeah, I saw that. A little bit unlucky. Oh, Montana with these wow. USPs, though. Wow! If you can hit the heads with a USP, that is a deadly gun. Yeah, I'm it's, sure, it's I'm a sure tough weapon. got 12, but... Yeah. The the thing is, you you got to treat the USP similar to you, you know you treat the Deagle. You you got to just expect to take damage and just yeah. land those one taps. If you land the one taps, there's not much of um, 
There should be an achievement for kills through smoke. <laughs> he does we win hands down. He's not wrong Luigi, about that. Luigi, <laughs> yeah, he's not wrong. He's died a lot through smoke. <laughs> the banter coming in there. Always nice to see. But CT's Montana will have their first round on the board. Board up with SMGs. The P90 from Shib. Spraying down Halo. And, oh, he actually takes a lot of damage from P250 of OK. They just need to be careful not to get echoed here. They have given up control of a bomb site with uh, one team lurking near quad, but Tivo with the MP7 will make short work of him, and it is a two v four. Luigi just hanging around mid in that lurk spot, but I have a feeling he's about to get pushed here. Shib is very close to the P90, and that is just some bad luck from Luigi. Tivo, the last player. We engage, we'll find opaque at forklift and yeah, we have one. seen another tit for tat. <laughs> Just like to point that out. <laughs> you are right, you, you are right, mate. Could wow. we be seeing maybe a 5 CT and then a 5 T? Because I'd love to see that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it'll be it'll make for a very, very interesting game. I mean, this game is close now, you can't really call it at this point. Either team's doing work, although that was you know the pistol rounds, and you know, you can't count them out. No, DZ actually put his weapon away as he peeked, funnily enough, and kind of uh, missed a bit of an opportunity for a spray down, but he is making short work of them as they push him one by one. Oh, it does eventually take him down from sight, and picks up a second, goes for a third. But TiVo, rotating from uppers there, will finish him off. And Montana, starting to create a little bit of a lead now. Yeah, although we do see the buy round coming in now. And fire up being as sharp as they are with these weapons. Could see something very, very different now. Yeah, Montana just need to hold strong now. They know that this is the gun round. If they can break the T's here, they, they're in with yeah. a good chance to take them out. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, they, they're, two, they're two rounds up already. Oh, oh Evo oh. Monster with a pick on the, the cob. Smoke. Smoke. The smoke. <laughs> Where's the achievement, Valve? Well, Come on. <laughs> where's, no, you can actually, if you go to Evo Monster's perspective, oh, yeah, he you can is, actually yeah. see his feet. But to the T, that's going to seem cross. like it was through smoke, surely. <laughs> oh, and he goes for another one. Yeah, Halo just revealing himself there. And the nade comes in to do a little bit of damage onto Halo, but... Uh, I've had Molly on. as well. And uh, the T push is kind of stalled here. It looks like they are setting up smoke for A, though. And they have actually... Oh, Evo oh, again Evo. with that AWP. He is hitting all his shots right now, picking up three. Another one! But Luigi... Finally going down. He will silence him in quad, and Bob is attempted to be planted. TiVo does push at the right time. Luigi all alone now in a 3v1. He does go down oh, Wow. Three Montana. Good to see them coming back. I have to say I'm rooting for them at this point after taking such <laughs> a beating in the first map. It's really yeah. nice to see them step up. And the the thing is they're showing they're showing the same no respect dominance that we saw from Fire Up. I mean that orb shot from Evo just holding ground, not moving, not retreating, just saying, if you want me out of here, you gotta kill me. That's right. And Wow, and he's hitting his shots and what an orb he actually is. Yeah, it's really enta entertaining to watch a, a good offer. They can yeah. really, um, you know, shine a light on the game. But uh, Opaque took a lot of damage from that nade, and she will finish him off there. And it looks like Tivo's actually picked up Blaster as well, and Halo's down, so... A nice, easy round for Montana on that eco. Luigi has picked up an M4, though. He's on A site, so we'll go on board with him as he attempts to... Hold off these CTs. He might find Evo here, but it looks like Evo's actually crouched and ready. And he will pick him up as he tries to retreat back into A main. So 12 to 8 to Montana at the moment. It's, it's strange to start contrast difference with the fact that Luigi was a heavy fragger in the last map. And come this map, he's, he's nowhere to be seen at this point in comparison to the rest of his team. Yeah, still, still lagging behind a little bit on the kills yeah. there. But I mean, you know, people will say, oh, but kills is not everything, but being in the position that he plays in the team, his kills are quite crucial. Oh, Evo Meister, though, going for the cheeky pick at A main, jumping and having his head taken off by Cobb. Luigi, <laughs> <laughs> does over mid and oh, find he... Zeus on highway. 
That highway position uh, seems to be very, very vulnerable. We've seen both teams lose players there every time to the boost. Yeah. And I think what we're going to see now is Fire Up realizes, and they realize his team is very peaky, so you'll probably see them put Luigi back up there in the next round and actually take heavy mid control. I wouldn't be surprised to see a wall of smoke to mid and then push out. Tivo just. I don't think he even flashed that. He just peaked A main. As soon as someone threw that smoke, he peaked. And he's able to pick up the kill there. Luigi going down, losing the AWP. Halo did take down Bot Daisy there in bed, but uh, the rotation. Evo. Get the kill. Looks like he will take B though. Evo, the last player alive, does take down Opaque. Now in a 1v1, bomb planted. Or not. Blaster actually oh, faking, Blaster. coming out, landing that headshot, and not even planting wow. the bomb after. He doesn't care. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice round there from Fire Up. Yeah, definitely. Good recovery, and I mean, we do see Luigi with the AWP, so... I do hope we do see them go mid-heavy here with the fact that... You know, this team is quite peak-intensive. That nade onto boost though. Doing a lot of damage. Oh no, oh. he actually landed his shot, but somehow they survived and Zeus wreaking havoc in mid right now. They do trade out and this is a 3v3. Side slowing this one down now. Playing the split pick. Bomb still in mid. Hot flash comes in, but that did absolutely nothing to cop. The flash, I think, actually landed near the lockers. The cop was protected from it. And, uh, yeah, the CT just running into his crosshairs. <laughs> it's a slow, patient game from far up now. They realize they've got to be very careful and get into a site and get bombed down. They need to, they need to start calling rounds back at this point. I thought they are actually going to get into A uncontested though. Both CTs hanging around B. And I'm not sure if that's a gamble or they were trying to save. Looks like... They, it was a bit of a gamble, but in fact... It's okay, a gamble. Shiba's yeah. headed back to site, so indicating they do want to save. <laughs> he doesn't look happy as he shakes nine. his cross <laughs> around. <laughs> I, think he, I think he was like, shit, I bet they're going A. And I think he might have been overridden by his in-game leader there. And, told and now he's saying, hey boys, I told ya. <laughs> I can feel it, it was... that's, that's what he's saying. <laughs> yeah, a peg should go down. That pre-fire is yeah. the crouches the crouching. The crouch pre- Terrorists win. Stick is fat, I mean tit for tat. <laughs> oh, you see us go. <laughs> so the pause does come in from Montana. Was it Montana or uh, Twilight? Yeah, Mon yeah, Montana, yeah. But oh, there we go, I see it further up. Uh, using this their paws for a toilet break. Interesting. This has been, this has been quite the second map. I'm, I'm yeah. so glad that it's actually turned out a lot better than the first. Because uh, I did I'm not very want to see a one-sided one -sided affair, you know? Yeah, definitely. It, it, it's nice to see. You know, we saw this last night. We're seeing it again, so... You know, Montana proving why they actually made it out of groups at this stage. Yeah, that's absolutely right. They're, uh, they are a strong team. I, d I just don't know what happened on Inferno. It just seemed like... And I, I guess we have seen it before where teams on T-side just can't deal with CT aggression. It's like they don't yeah. expect it. And when the CTs pull it out and do it successfully, it destroys T-sides. And it gets in their heads. And all of a sudden, they're on the defensive when they should be on the offensive. Yeah. It's... It yeah, throws the spanner in the works. Uh, you know, and that, again, that comes down to mind games. And, you know, if you can win the mind games, that's, you know, 70% of the work done, really. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> just it. Get in the other team's head and just have them think you're around every second corner and just be around the corner they're not looking. And you got yourself an easy kill. The unpause comes in, and CTs, they are on an eco, Shib and DZ holding onto those guns for the last round, but Shib goes down immediately, opaque with a great peek there. Evo actually does oh, pick wow. up Luigi. 
Luigi's is just not having any luck in this in this map. No, not at all. Fix your lag. Oh, the excuse is from Luigi. Okay, Come go. on, mate. We didn't see. I didn't see any lag there. So. Me neither, mate. It sounds like. I think it could be Luigi that's maybe experiencing a bit of a lag, but nonetheless, Evo nice making stuff. work with Luigi's with, with Luigi's is actual AK there. And CPs are in a Halo. good position now. They've got guns. Well, they've got two guns, and they have the hit points as well. Evo Meister, he picks up Cobb here. Could be disastrous for fire up. Looks like Cobb's actually going to walk into A, and the rest of his team to follow. Evo Meister, though, sitting on site, will take down Blaster, and I think he's going to be aware that there's more, but oh, what a shot! A nice headshot. That was clean. That, that was, was very, very, very nice. Clean. Bomb does go down on A though. And it is on the retake now. Oh, Cobb's gonna hear that play up in the game, mate. But uh, he will take down Daisy first, and he's well prepared for Zeus to push out here. Opaque's gonna bait him around to that side of sight, but uh, he's, he's, Cobb made noise there. Zeus, he's gotta be aware that he's there, and he's gonna back off down to 17 HP. They fire up, bringing it back to a one round deficit now. Terrorists win. <laughs> Even my it's Optus, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That wonderful Australian incident that we all love and, you know, that we all love so much. No, no, better no, no, no. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, Might not be wrong about that. Oh, this is yeah, it's hard to even, you know, predict what's going to happen. Because the round just changes on its head in a matter of seconds, you know. Teams will go in 3v5, come out, and it's, you know, a 1v1, and you're just like, really? How'd that happen? You're just trying to piece it together, and it's just... I think either team at this point is... It's more so, I think Fire Up is actually wanting to win this map and end it fairly quickly. And they just don't have an answer for, for what Montana's actually doing. I can actually lead him from mistakes here. You see Luigi go yeah. down again. Timo actually, or Timo, sorry, actually went aggressive in Squeaky and picked Luigi again, and I think that's happened a few times now. So, yeah. these little mistakes could cost them the round. Up with an interesting hot flash there, picking up Evo Meister. That was a great play. I'm, wow. That was pretty incredible. I actually missed it. <laughs> I will go to stream now and watch. Yeah, it was. Okay, uh, I don't miss it. It's a very nice shot. Obviously, it will go down to Zeus, though. And this is 3v4. Daisy taking down Opaque, and. Halo takes down Shib, but Shib actually binked Blaster there. Blaster's down to three. And the nade goes in, but it's a fail nade. That's unfortunate. Could have been a nice Kobe to finish it off, but uh, Zeus will <laughs> take his head off the M4 instead. And the defuse. Coming in, I don't think it's easy. Uh, no, he's they, not defusing. <laughs> they're collecting the orb. Okay. A Tivo actually was running up, collecting the orb. Oh, okay. So they're wanting to save that orb from A main. Fair enough. Fair enough. Viewership is down from last night. Yeah, we're we're uh -huh. expecting that with the um, you know, the somewhat lower tier games. I think it, I think it'll pick up next week when we start seeing, you know, the better teams uh, that have made it through. It's going to be a lot more close and uh, well matched, I think. Yeah, we've seen some sheer stompings, and I mean, a stomping on one on the first map does tend to, you know, sh shy people away. They're like, oh, well, yeah. there's nothing interesting to see here, and then, you know, they come back and they're like, oh, we saw it last night, with, you know, in the game with Redux, seeing a lot of people in chat going, my god, what's happened? Oh, no. You know? Montana actually losing two players there. Luigi landing a nice one oh, oh. over into mid. Cobb picks up Evo and Halo. Uh, he was, I'm sorry, Zeus, he was actually... Backside in that bricks corner as the team's ran past and he didn't pick up a single kill. Luigi takes down his teammate but picks up a kill. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> adds, he takes one away and then just adds it back to the scoreboard. <laughs> That's right, he doesn't need the frags. Doesn't even look good. <laughs> but 13-12 uh, Montana still ahead. Luigi's like, <laughs> 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 okay, right? <laughs> Montage? Anyone? <laughs> <laughs> the TK montage. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, CT's Again. now on an eco. Seeing that change up of pace from fire up is very nice though, you know, going to the side just super aggressive, throwing your smokes and just landing all your shots. Yeah, actually, there's not much you can answer that with. Actually overrunning uh, Montana on an eco, which is very surprising. Luigi drops down on the boost, picks up two, goes for a third, but Daisy's there. And uh, he actually gets a second onto Opaque. So a 2v2 now, and Montana, are they going to eco fire up after being ecoed themselves? Wow, this has turned very ugly, very fast. This is creeping up into mid, but um, like, Olo's just lurking around the corner there. Buster is engaging with Daisy, and he does a lot of damage onto Daisy. Loose now, he has revealed his position, rattling off a couple of shots from that eagle, and uh, not connecting unfortunately, and T's are going to make their way into B, and get the plant very, very easily. CT is on this retake, and I don't know if they should go for it. Their money situation, um, I'd probably be saving those ATAs. Yeah, it's definitely. It's a 2v2, but if you can't frag one immediately, I don't know if it's worth going for. Even if, you know, if Fire Up get the first kill, and, and which they do, there's right. a trade out. He's not running. He's easy to out. And uh, he will go down to Halo there. Luigi's actually... What's it, sorry? I was just gonna say, it'll be a kind of a poor buy here. Uh, t was only on 3.4k. But, um, it looks like they have managed most nades and armor. Not, not having to buy head armor helps. Yeah. That is true, being, you know, and taking that and just working with it, you know, you got no head armor, you know the other team's bought up, so why risk trying to buy, force the buy and, you know, leave yourself with that utilities. with the AWP in hand again. Can he pick up his game? He's been landing some nice pistol shots. But, um, the AWP, he hasn't, been, he hasn't been very good as of yet. Oh, Kov, his feet just visible on top of that box there. He does get sprayed down to 18, just manages to jump away. Oh, Blaster caught with a nade out there. Zeus peeking white box at the right moment. Just catching him off guard. And this is a nice start to CT side. Cobb already low and Blaster down. CT's still on full HP. And they still have utility. Yeah, this... As I say that, Opaque does pick up one, but... Two T's are low, so... Oh, that nade from a teammate. Cobb onto Halo. Hake does pick up another. Kov actually dying himself. It's a 3v2, that's unfortunate. The, the TKs, I mean, we saw it last <laughs> match, the TKs yeah. lost in rounds, and it seems like they're doing it again. But, um, Bomb is planted as he uh, forced the retake. Luigi gets sprayed down through smoke. Oh, he's going to be unhappy Again. about that. I hope he Luigi says will. I actually think Luigi will go back and sit down and watch this demo from no, both these games. Furious, <laughs> but the thing is, people don't realize that although you're still in smoke, if you're on the edge of that smoke, you're completely visible. Yeah, that's right. The way they've changed it is sort of your head hitbox is still in the smoke, but your body hitbox is visible. It, it, it's strange how the camera angle works when you're inside of a smoke. Yeah, it definitely obscures your screen a lot more when you're inside the smoke than it does for the player outside. And besides, your gun barrel sticks out before the player model yeah. sticks out. It's not like a camera's attached to your gun barrel. So you've yeah. got to expect that they're going to see you before you see them. Nevertheless, though, Montana, 14 to fire up 13, and this has been a great second map so far. We've got a match on our hands, boys. I've actually fired up myself. After that first map, I was like, oh no, it's going to be terrible, <laughs> but uh, I am but... well invested into this match right now. And, Who's your money on right now? Who's your money on? I have to say Montana. They're, they're Montana? playing a fantastic game. Uh, I've, I've got a, you know, I've, I've got a good feeling about the Kiwi, Kiwi brethren at this point. Oh, Daisy but with a double so spray much. down and a third. His teammate helping from checkers. Luigi... Spraying wildly with that tech nine. But, Luigi's uh, gonna die through smoke again. <laughs> <laughs> that, that nearly happened again. Oh, then. Oh. 
But he does pick up two and Halo actually rotates through vents to make it another frag, but he should go down here. And that is 15 to 13. Montana on match point. Wow. We could be seeing a third map here. I think so. <laughs> I'm not too sure how the draws work. I, I believe it will be an OT. They will go to OT, I think, in CJ finals. But our third map yeah. will be Cobble, I believe. That'll oh, be no, yeah. another kill for Spokes. He's taking down Blasted with the nade and spray down. And uh, T's on a poor buy for this last round, but they did eco Montana before. They have done it. There's no reason to think they can't do it again. The squeaky. Oh, just misses Tivo there. It's like dance around forklift. Oh, looking for Evo Meister in sight. He now turns his attention towards forklift and picks up Tivo with a nice headshot. Tivo just leaving himself exposed. Oh, picks up an AK and finds a second kill onto Zeus. As Evo Meister goes down on quad to Halo, and it looks like <laughs> Fire Up is going to eco them. This tip for tat. Unbelievable. Oh no, Shib's about to get caught out here, and this is definitely fire ups around now. Easy, last player alive, and look at the CT's economy, they might be. Oh no. Could be seeing overtime here. <laughs> yes, uh, be deep. No, TZ actually picks up the frag and opaque. Some of the shots these players are hitting are just unbelievable. Terrorists uh, win. What can you say, really? I mean, this is just yeah. so unconventional. Just throwing away the game on an eco round. Come on, Montana. Have windows. <laughs> you can't. You can't let yourself lose to an eco. I mean, are they going to buy here? Even it looks like they are. They will and they're actually up. opting. Oh, it's it's not a bad buy. I mean, it's the best still thing to do, really. I was about to say, there's still a USP present, but... No, but easy actually holding on to his AK. Oh, Luigi actually not getting pushed there for once, and Tivo with a scout. He does land a shot on Luigi. But, um, I think if he peeks again, he will go down. Oh, no, Pake now through the smoke. A little bit of uh, payback there. These smoke kills, mate. I'll tell you what, if it was Overwatch, I'd be banning him off. <laughs> <laughs> Reported! So Smoke's on A now, and fire up. We go for the push here, a little bit of team damage coming in, as Tivo goes down on site, and this is going to be a draw, boys. I mean, <laughs> did anyone expect this? I did I did say I have my faith in the fire up, boys. <laughs> that is a pretty incredible... MR3. Wow. Wow. Just wow. Eco rounds. Yeah. We I mean, almost saw this last night. We almost actually saw this with the Redux game. It was a 16-14 second map, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, 16-14 second map. And yeah, that was very close as well. So, I really hope that uh, Montana do win this overtime because I would love to see a third map. I don't think oh, that yeah. first map is anything to go by with the way they, that they brought it back. And I'd love to see them on a third map just to see if they can continue this level of play against Fyra. Yeah, definitely. Oh, Evo with the orb. Yeah, he's been great yeah. with that with the orb from that position all game. He's picked up quite a few. I do like how he has maintained the green machine skin as well. Big green. <laughs> Look at Luigi, Luigi and Evo right the now. The battle is on right now. <laughs> Evo he... Meister realizing he will get hit at some point moving out. This he's does... getting blasted. Oh, and he does a lot of damage as well. Onto Halo, the nade might finish him off here. He jumps back just in time, though. Down to 11. Oh, oh what a headshot. Oh, he's proving very effective, oh. but unable to land a bullet there. That was that surprising. Was, yeah. <laughs> All he had to do was just tap him once. Yeah, just... I don't know what happened there. Nevertheless, though, CT is in good position to win this round and take the first round of overtime. Halo down to 11, okay, we're about to peak, and Shib does land the shot, but somehow, they actually tag each other, Opaque down to 20 and Shib down to 14. Yeah. <laughs> That's uh, very, very weird. Yeah, each player will be going, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Shib 
shooting each other in the legs. But um, I have a feeling with the time of ticking down here especially, it will be Montana's first round on the board. Yeah. And this is smart, a fire up to save these weapons. If you don't know, um, if you do try and buy both rounds after you lose both rounds, you are not going to have enough for the third round buy on an overtime. You're going to yeah. be on an extremely poor buy. So holding onto those weapons is a great play. Yeah, definitely. So if you look at the T's money now, they have they, they are full bought up, but with their cash, they are going to be able to buy next round, even if they do lose this one. Yeah. What a... I'm still putting, getting my head around this, I mean. Considering the first map, 16-2 to fire up, and Montana just, you know, resetting their mentality, and look where we are, we're in OT, and they put one round up. Luigi has actually picked up Evo Meister though. Evo overextending into A, and Luigi, I believe, only had a Tech 9. Now he's picked up Evo's AWP. So, a fatal mistake? Could this be the nail in the coffin for Montana? The, the round could go to fire up here. Yeah, I mean, that AWP, you know, an AWP on T side on this map is very, very good for getting, especially in getting into A of all places. You, wow, know, you that... can pick that, player, that quad and the player at truck. The mod, the uh, Molotov at quad there actually takes Tivo down to 34. He stood in it for quite a while before he realized what was going on. But uh, Fire Up do look to be heading towards a bomb site right now. 30 seconds remaining on the clock. They're going to have to commit. Most of the CTs have made their way over here. They do have three on site. Cobb pushes oh, in. Oh, that nade. It's not being effective though. Tivo's down. Blaster actually catching Zeus from behind on highway. This is a well-executed A take from Fire Up here. Just locking those players down and uh, pushing them from off angles, not expecting it. Oh, Shib. Shib, he goes huge, but it's not enough. Luigi Wow. will finish him off from forklift. Could we see a, third, a second OT? Oh, please. Please, no. Let's wow. finish this map, boys. Where we might have to actually leave these boys to finish their OT, as we do have a second game we need to get into. <laughs> yeah, I believe we've still got 40 minutes until that game yeah. starts though, so if it does go to a third map, um, let's hope that it ends quickly because <laughs> we're, yeah, we're not going to have time to cover both, unfortunately. Um, yeah. The scheduling's so, um, so for, want, for want of a bit, yeah, I was going to use something a lot more yeah. profane, but... <laughs> yeah. Here's this this mid push that I've wanted fire up to do, you know, in that one round that I did mention it. Mm. Crisscross smoke, they'll push out, take bank control, and go straight into B. Halo gets on Luigi actually picking the entry from boost, straight into B. But wow, trades coming in thick and fast. Yeah, she's actually picking up three before he falls. That is a great hold. Luigi does take down Tivo though, and Evo, last player alive for CT, working his way in. Lowers as the bomb is planted. With that, with that push, you know, for your team to actually lose that push would have had to have been a lot of mistakes. Sorry, a lot of mistakes made there. I think Evo Meister was actually lagging there. He looked very slow, and I don't know. That looked a bit weird to me. But um, nevertheless, fire up. Do take the lead in the first half of OT. I'll be back in a sec. And we will be moving into the second half. Fire up taking the first map, 16 to 2. Montana bringing it back to overtime in the second map. They actually had the lead, but Fire up brought it back uh, with only a couple rounds to spare there. And now they have taken the lead in OT. Oh, that Molotov. We've seen that fail in mid a couple of times now. Uh, the Molotov just not landing. Halo does take down Zeus, but he's in smoke, and he's very, very low. Evo Meister can't make the shots connect, though. That nade should finish him. But Halo somehow still alive in mid. He will go down, though, to Daisy eventually. And the T's do have mid control somewhat. Cobb is on highway, though, and they do have a player in CTZ connector of taking down Evo and Opaque on Daisy. Making this... 2v4 situation. Montana need to pull out something pretty special here on this T side. They look like they're waiting for the rotational players, but CT is not actually pushing. They're playing this very, very smart. Yeah, fire up, realizing what they need to do here to actually secure this win. You know, adapting to it and, and making it work. 
Yeah, there's absolutely no need to go hunting, especially on the last round of the first half of OT. Why would you hunt the T side? Yeah, there is no need for it. Yeah. Well, isn't this the second? This is the second half now. They've oh, I'm over. sorry. I'm sorry. Yes. I'm so sorry. this is this is a round away from match point. This stage. So. Yeah, they don't want to concede any. Oh, uh, the double peak. Any easy rounds here to Montana, but with that said, they have actually made their way into a bomb site. Blaster though is up on this cheeky position. He does take down Chip. The plant comes in, but Tivo jumps off it what just in play. time and fire. They, they nearly made that work. Uh, not take that away. Montana nearly made that round work for them there. So yeah, definitely. If, if Blaster was not on site, that was that could have gone the way of Montana. We could have actually seen a second OT. <laughs> they picked up the round after. Yeah, but at the moment, fire up. They do look to be stepping up, and actually Luigi stepped up a lot. He's actually... Well, he's still bottom fragging in the sense that he's only on 21, but he's on 21, up from, you know, 5 or whatever it was. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think he was, he was on 3 for quite a while there as well. Yeah, it was not looking good for Luigi, but uh, I think he will have silenced his critics. Uh, namely yep. me. <laughs> <laughs> I do uh, like this tit for tat game that we've been having though. Um, <laughs> it makes it very exciting to watch. Yeah. I, I do like the fact that I also called it. Just pointing that out. <laughs> the um, yeah, it's it, it makes for exciting CS. You know, no one can take that away from either team. They're both playing well in this map, and just you know, it comes. It's coming down to angels and, and you know, little mistakes being punished. So Montana actually getting the first pick there, taking down Halo early in the round. Montana, it looks like they are trying to sell a fake onto A. Evo has have. pushed up and he's taken out Kov. They have pulled the rotate. Evo though, he's going to jump out and actually take out Opaque, but the CTs are holding strong on B. They've done a lot oh, of damage to Yeah, Blaster. Left in 1v3, you'll find Evo as he jumps back into Z Connector. But uh, he's got a bit of work on his hands now. He does, does want to clutch this. Hope that Montana win this and bring it back to a one round deficit. Faster works his way in and the T side wow. will find his head there and we are back to a one round deficit. Evo Meister again just switching on there and actually, you know, bringing that back for Montana and keeping him in this. Yeah, he's. He seems to be a little hot and cold with his AWP. When he does hit his shots, he's it's fantastic to watch. But I've seen him miss things that have been yeah quite crucial. And it's, it's, could just yeah. be could just be Optus. Yeah, that's <laughs> blame it on the internet. <laughs> that's what I do. Oh, oh no! Shit. Wow. Very very one lucky one trade. There. I thought Halo would have picked up too for sure, but he does go down. So four v four. And this is the last round of OT. Montana taking this very, very slow after that aggressive push in mid. What? What? <laughs> Tebow actually tapping the CT and the CT responding and actually lands the tag onto Tebow through the garage door. <laughs> that was so pretty incredible. Luigi happy with himself on that one. The amount of times he's been hit through smoke. I don't know if he knows that he's hit it yet, but, um... <laughs> he will soon find out at the end of this round. Tebow's, Tebow's gonna be steaming after that. Why did I shoot? <laughs> <laughs> it is sort of a risky take, though. You know, shooting through that... Through those garage doors. You sort of want to take a couple of shots and move, because the Orpha does tend to bait back. Master in a nice position here. Does take down Daisy, bring it back to a 3v3. Picks up another one. Ship from behind, though. Makes it a 2v2. Make that a 1v2 now. Shib, the last player alive, the player that the hopes of Montana rests upon as he tries to clutch a 1v2, does one. take down Luigi, he just needs one more, he's gonna go for a plant here, Opaque, very very close, he can walk in, hopefully Shib peeks out in time, he does find oh the frag, God, and it's gonna be it. a second OT, wow, wow. my god, what an <laughs> overtime, what a Shib, game. clutching a 1v2 oh, wow. to keep Montana in it, wow, Oh, what a second map this has been. Wow, my god. What a play. What a play. My brain's getting cooked. <laughs> Our brains are getting cooked right now.
This We've is the CS. Game to go into. This, this is the CS, this we, want is the CS we want to bring you, boys. This is the shit that you're gonna see when you tune into our channel. And again, that tag through garage door, the pre-fire working. And getting Ego Meister down to 48. Zeus will pick up Opaque though. And the bomb is at B. They can take B site very easily. But CTs have a player lurking vents. Are they going to hear the pop? It does look like Halo will pick up one ship trades immediately though. And oh no, Luigi's pushed straight through smoke. That's a mistake. Blaster has made his way into checkers and bomb will go down. Oh, Kov just catching Evo, sleeping there on top of Hut. Deezy oh. finds Blaster, back of Checkers. And Kov now in a 1v3, make that a 1v2, taking down Deezy. The nades come raining in though, that is a nice nade, a little bit of damage on the Kov. And T's are going to be aware of his position, he's got two to deal with, does find oh the first onto Zeus, can he clutch this? What? Oh, what How did shot. he hit that? What a shot! <laughs> Kov, he's what done it that? again! Oh my god, he's kidding. <laughs> wow! Holy shit, boys. What that a, was what pretty incredible. <laughs> what a shot. <laughs> a 1v3. And he clutches wow. it. Wow. I'm actually on 32 kills already. You know what? I think we Even... might have... Uh, I think I might be submitting that as a demo to the top 5 plays of the week. Because that was pretty Oh, special. definitely. That was a big play. That was a very big play. Cobb yeah, just, that's... you know, throwing the flash, eating the nade, and just reloading his AK just before he peeks is to say, I've got this. I've got this moment right now, and proving that he did have it. Wow. Wow. Inc incredible stuff. Fire up. Hiko. Just... <laughs> King Lenny. Hiko. Exactly. I was thinking <laughs> the exact same thing. Screw Hiko. We've got, Hiko. We've got Cobb. <laughs> mm -hmm. Cobb, are you kidding me? <laughs> so fire up. Take the lead here. Wow. Montana will be on the back foot from that for sure. Realizing that fire up when they when they really got to step up, players are uh, you know more than willing to. Halo actually prevents that, just shooting the feet of Tebo, and his teammate will finish him as Halo drops down, picks up one, but goes down. Luigi now from CT, and oh, these T's just trying to brute force, but it's not working. They've actually dropped bomb in sight, and Blaster will finish off Evo Meister from Ben. Oh, wow. No. I have a feeling we're gonna see Fire Up take this now. I, like I said, I've had faith in Fire Up from the beginning, but it, we got got hairy there. It, it has, it, you know, wow. Just Montana. I wish we had more info on these guys, because my god, these guys can play CS. Me too. I'd love to have a chat with them. Or if you guys, if anyone knows them on Steam, please let us know, because we'd love to talk to them. Luigi, again, he's picked up his orping skills. And he's, he's starting to hit his shots now, which is nice to see. Even yeah. First frag and... Oh, even must have. Halo just seems to have dropped off. I'm not too sure what's happened there, but... Halo just being caught out in too many one-and-done spots, but... Here we see this again. You know, fire up trying to show dominance when... They really don't have the ability to do so on this map. Well, he's just got the AWP and he's... Oh no, he's gonna get caught out on short here. He does take down the plan after, but... Uh, I don't think it's gonna be enough. A 2v1. Can Opaque do what his teammate did in the previous Opaque's, round? Can Opaque step up to the plate? <laughs> he is bottom fragging at the moment. Step on ball with him as he tries to retake this site. 2v1. He's gonna get peaked from A main. Oh, he's in a he position. Oh, one. Oh, oh he does my it! God, are you wow. kidding me? What is that? What the hell? Is he going to get the defuse at... though? This he does. Be... He does. He does. Oh my God! What did you what just happened? <laughs> the 180. What the hell? 180. Wall flashbang. That was incredible. Wow. Fire up with some oh my incredible God. individual skill there to bring those rounds Boys. back, Montana. Wow. They looked like wow. they looked like they were going to run away with it, but I mean, Fire Up has just stepped up their game to no end. Wow. I, you know, I asked the question. Can I, you know? So you asked the question. Can Opek do what his teammate did? And he can. He sure can. <laughs> he can. He can. <laughs> he's bottoming because his team has stepped up, not because he's doing bad. Wow. Oh my god, what a shot to hit. Just holding that spray, holding that perfect crosshair placement of flashbang. 
that's it. I mean, that's, 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 that's pure map knowledge. Knowing where to turn and, you know, the right angle to spray on quad while you're flashed, that's just... Wow! Chat just lighting up like crazy there. <laughs> <laughs> and rightly so. Uh, Montana do get the first pick. Luigi does reply and oh. Evo picking up a second. That AWP from Evo, so sharp. So. Evo's, Evo's doing work for his team though. Almost 40 bombing. <laughs> <laughs> None of his team members yet to break 30. Yeah, he's been a key player for Montana this whole this whole map. So both teams slowing it down now. CT's just holding sight. And uh, interesting setup on B. They're actually playing one checkers and one mid. So not a lot of defense there on B. But at the moment, it doesn't look like the T's are headed there. Evo Meister should oh. pick up a third here. Cop shoulder peek him. Oh, going for the fourth. Yeah, I think we could see a fourth frag here from Evo. Oh, oh, actually. Fire up. They do bring it back to a 2v2 though. This and is Evo's... semi favorable because of the fact that this orb, the CTs are going to be moving quite slow. Oh, what a no, shot from Evo. Opaque! Wow! Opaque is just on fire right now. He just yeah. does not care. He'll peek an orper and do that. So, Shib again. In 1v2. We did see this man clutch, but it could be a big ask this time. He will go that down, is and that is GG, boys. Fire what up. a game. Wow. I told you. I told you. I had faith in the fire up, boys. Not, not trying to be biased, but my god. What a game, guys. What a game we have. Cobb and Opaque. What the hell. Huge <laughs> individual skill. Absolutely what massive. What the hell, boys. Wow. My god. <laughs> yeah, that was... That was incredible, oh, and that, that um, is the CS we want to see, boys. That is the stuff right there. That is what makes CS so special. It's those moments. I will be AFK shortly, Caps. I will be back soon. Okay, no worries, <laughs> no worries. Kov, that we have odd-shotted that. Both Kovs and Shib and also... Um, Opaque. Opaque, man. I've got the shots running through my head. I can't even remember that was did Yeah, fantastic so. CS. Fantastic CS, boys. Hang around. Wow. Um, I will be back, guys. We're going to be back with a second game for you guys. It's going to be Hype versus F4F, and we're going to have...